Good evening folks, it's your bro Richie Rich here. Today in this video is now part 3 on the Lamborghini Gallardo. So part 3 on the Lamborghini Gallardo. Today in this video I'll be talking to you about the standard Gallardo from 2003, so from 03 to 08. <coughs> and then I got the one, the facelift version from 08 to, 20, to 2013. Special, special and limited editions. Some special and limited editions. Uh, concept cars. Uh, production. Motorsports. Fuel tank conditioning. Blah, 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 blah. So, I, I got so much to do. But I'll try to do as much as I can as possible. <coughs> so, before I start, make sure you all like the video, subscribe, comment down below what you guys think. Hit the notification bell and hit all so you learn when to make brand new uploads. Alright, <clears throat> so without any further ado, let's begin. <clears throat> so from now on the Gallardo from two the Gallardo from two thousand three. So two thousand three to two thousand eight. <clears throat> Here we go. So starting off starting off with is the Gallardo Coupe. So let's do it. <clears throat> so the original so the original, so the standard, or the base, uh, Gallardo, Gallardo was powered, so Gallardo was powered, so it was powered, and powered, with a naturally aspirated, so naturally aspirated, even firing, so even, even, so even firing, 5 liter, so 5 liter, 5 liter, 5 liter, so 5 liter, uh, 90, so 5 liter, 90 degree, so 90 degree V10, uh, generating a maximum power output at 7,000, so 7,500 RPM, so 7,500 RPM, 493 horsepower, pretty good, and at Four and a half thousand RPM, so four thousand five hundred, so four thousand five hundred. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, so at four thousand, so four four thousand five hundred RPM, five hundred and ten Newton meters, three hundred and seventy six, so three hundred and seventy six pound feet, so three hundred seventy six pound feet of torque. So you have four and a half thousand, so four thousand five hundred RPM. Five hundred five hundred and ten newton meters. Three hundred seventy six thousand. <coughs> the Gallardo was offered um, with uh, the choices of two tra two different transmission, uh, well, two different gearbox types. Well, two well, well, two choices of two choices of gearboxes. A conventional. A conventional uh, H can't really do it that well. So um, a conventional conventional H H pattern six speed manual. So six speed six speed manual. Which is pretty good, and a six-speed, so the same, still six-speed, um, so six-speed, so six-speed, el electro-hydraulically, so electro-hydraulically, hydraulic, hydraulically, <coughs> hydraulically, um, actuated single clutch, so not a twin clutch, or a dual clutch, well, same thing anyway, or double clutch. It's a single clutch, so there's only one clutch. Automated manual. So it's with paddle shifter, but you shift it manually. That label called E gear. So E gear. Which doesn't really add up to me because when I think when I think of E gear, I think of electro or electric gear or something. So the letter E, so the E, so the E gear. So E gear. 
both gearboxes gearboxes were built by uh by <clears throat> by Dana so Dana so Dana Graziano which is formal formally called Graziano so Graziano transmissioni so Graziano tra Graziano transmissioni so Graziano transmissioni the e gear so e gear um <coughs> gear gearbox provides so gearbox provides um gear changes so gear changes more gear changes more quickly than uh than uh so more quickly than uh could be could be achieved um through a manual shift so a manual gearbox the driver shifts so up shifts and down shifts uh via paddles behind the steering wheel <coughs> But can also change to an automatic mode, so to auto mode, via the gear selector located in place of the gear shift, or of the gear shifter. The car, the car was designed by uh, Luck uh, Dunkervolk, so Luck Dunkervolk, and was based on the '95, so 1995. So 1995, um, <coughs> 1995, um. So 1995 Lamborghini Kala. So 1995 Lamborghini Kala. So Lamborghini Kala. Uh, proto uh, prototype. So 1995 Lamborghini Kala. So Kala prototype design. So prototype designed uh, by Ital by Ital Ital design. Um, Gilgiado. So Ital design. Gilgiaro. So it out design Gilgiaro. So Gilgiaro. <coughs> Next up is the uh, 2005 uh, coupe update. For the, two for the 2006 model year, so 2006 model year uh, launched in late 2005, Lambo, so Lambo introduced Lambo. Lambo introduced, um, introduced many, so many changes, so many changes to the car, so many changes, so many changes to the car. So Lambo introduced many changes to the car to counter some, um, uh, <coughs> criticisms garnered both from the, um, from the, from the press, like the, like the, uh, like the, like the press release and the own and so the owners so the owners so owners the exhaust the exhaust <coughs> the, the exhaust system so the exhaust system was changed so the exhaust system was changed so it was changed uh to me so the exhaust system was changed uh to a more sporty one so to a more sportier exhaust <coughs> including a flap so a flap um to make it quieter, um, so quieter during city driving. Some supercars and sports cars would have those kind of flaps on the exhaust. For example, the Z06 Corvette makes like 505 horsepower, somewhere around there. That's like a flap, like it's kind of like a valve on the exhaust. <clears throat> so the exhaust system was changed, so it was changed um, to a more sporty one. So sporty one, um, <coughs> sporty one, um, including a flap, so including a flap, uh, to make it quieter, so quieter during city driving, so as you're driving in a city, it'll, be, it'll become quieter, so there's that, so the, suspen the suspension was revised, a new steering rack was, steering rack, so steering rack was fitted, the engine power was increased. So the engine power was increased. <clears throat> so 
So the engine power is increased by was increased by 20, so 20 horsepower, so not that much, to a maximum of 500, so 513 horsepower, pretty good, pretty good, and the big, the biggest change, biggest change was, um, and, and the biggest change, so the biggest, biggest change, um, so the biggest change was overall lower, uh, gear ratios, so lower gearing ratios, especially in first to fifth, so first to fifth, so first to fifth gear. Not sure about sixth gear, though. But oh well, these changes, these changes gave, these changes gave the car, so it gave the car a much better performance, so much better performance, perform, so performance than the standard one, so the original, and they're also included in the Lamborghini, in the limited edition Gallardo SE, so SE stands for special edition, so special edition. <coughs> Next up is the Gallardo Spider, so Spider, or uh, convertible, so Gallardo convertible, <coughs> so not much on it, but let's do it, so <coughs> the con the convertible, so convertible, convertible variant or version, so version of the, so the convertible version of the Gallardo, called the Gallard, called the Gallard, the Gallardo Spider, was unveiled at the LA Auto Show, so Los Angeles Auto Show, in January, so early, so January 2006, so early, two, early 2006 it was, <coughs> so early 2006, um, it's considered considered by it's considered by the company, so by the company to be an entirely new model, so an entirely new model, so new model, with the engine having a with the engine having a power output of five hundred and thirteen horsepower, so five hundred and thirteen horsepower. <coughs> so let's assume it's the original uh, Gallardo. So, so with the engine having a power output of five hundred and thirteen horsepower. And a, and a low ratio, low ratio six speed manual, which is good. The spider, the spider, the spider has a retractable soft top uh, roof. Next up is the super leggera version. So super leggera. Let's do it. <clears throat> which is by the way my dream Lambo, the Gallardo super leggera. One of the best, literally the best. <clears throat> All right, here we go. At the two thousand, at the two thousand seven, so two thousand seven, uh, Geneva, Gen two thousand seven Geneva Auto Show or Geneva Motor Show, <coughs> or Genève's Auto Estrada, as we call it in Latin, Lambo unveiled, so Lambo unveiled, unveiled the Superleggera version of the Gallardo. The name paid tribute, so paid tribute, so tribute. To the con to the con construction, so construction style, so construction style, of the first first Lambo Lambo prototype. So well, not prototype, sorry, first Lambo production model. The sixty four to sixty six three fifty GT. Should have done that one at the start, but what am I doing? Oh, I didn't even think of doing that. But I might do it in my, for my final Lambo video. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll find out when I'll do the Lambo 350 GT. Let's see it. The 350 G, the 350 GT. So both designed, designed and built. So designed and designed and built. So designed and built by. <clears throat> by. Carrozzeria Touring. So Carrozzeria Touring Superleggera. So Carrozzeria Touring Superleggera, which is an Italian Italian um, automobile automobile coach builder. So coach builder. 
originally established in Milan, um, in um, Italy, so in northern Italy, at the capital of Lombardy. <clears throat> so in 1925, so originally established in Milan, <clears throat> in northern Italy, at the capital of Lombardy. So in Milan in uh, 1925. So 1925, Car Carrozzeria Turing, so Carrozzeria Turing became well known, so became well known for both the beauty, so the, the beauty, so the beauty, the beauty of its designs, and the patent, and the patented superleggera construction methods. The business folded in 1966. In 2006, 40 years later, it's it's both both its brands and trademarks were purchased, and a new firm was established. And a new firm was established um, nearby to provide automotive design, engineering, coach building, homologation services, non-automotive industrial design, and restoration of historic vehicles. <coughs> so, the name so Max Magallano, the name the name paid. The name paid tribute, so paid tribute, um, to the con to the con to the construction style, style so to the construction style of the first Lambo Lambo production model, the three fifty three fifty GT, so three fifty GT, so three fifty GT, so GT, both designed and built, so designed and built, so designed and built, built by a Carrozzeria Turing, so is that Carrozzeria Turing? Um, and its emphasis on, on weight reduction, so weight reduction, which is always an advantage. <coughs> the Superleggera super is lighter, so the Superleggera is lighter, so lighter than the standard, well, the base model, by a whopping 100 kilos, 220 pounds, so it's lighter than before. Due to the use of carbon fiber, Carbon fiber panels, or the root of root of, <coughs> excuse me. So for the rear diffuser, so the rear diffuser, under tray, rear so under tray, rear view mirror, so rear view mirror housings, um, interior door panels, uh, so interior door panels, central tunnel, I believe it's for the gearbox. I don't know. I think it is. Engine cover, so engine cover, titanium wheel bolts or wheel nuts, and carbon fiber sport seats. <clears throat> the engine, the engine power was upgraded. The engine power was upgraded or, or increased. So the engine power was upgraded or increased by by ten horsepower. It's not much, but it's good to have an increase by ten horsepower. Courtesy of an improved intake, exhaust, so intake, exhaust, and ECU, so electronic control unit. <clears throat> They're like the brain of the car. So intake, exhaust, and, uh, so intake, exhaust, and ECU for a total power output, so power output of 523 horsepower. Pretty good. Some around the same power as a V10 Audi R8. <clears throat> with all-wheel drive. It's a 523 horsepower. The six-speed um, e-gear uh, gearbox, so manual or was it automatic manual, I can't remember. So the six-speed ear, the six-speed e-gear, uh, so the six-speed e-gear gearbox um, was standard on US spec models with a six-speed manual so six speed manual offered as a no cost option, so like for free basically. Production production of the Superleggera amounted so production of the Superleggera amounted to six hundred and eighteen, so less than six hundred and twenty units worldwide. By t like at least two less if you really drive that up. Last part recall and then I'll end it there. So <clears throat> so for those who don't know what recalls are, it's basically something that happens for like for like manufacturers. So like when you know like when manufacturers when manufacturers these days will like find out issues with the cars 
And um, the same two people that there is a problem with the cars, they fix it and they tell the owners about it. So that's the last part of Honor Rico, and then I'll end it there. So let's finish it. <clears throat> so well, Lambo, Lambo recalled. Re so Lambo recalled about. So Lambo recalled about fifteen hundred, so one thousand five hundred, uh, Garado, uh, Coupe and Spider models. So Coupe and Spider models. So Coupe and Spider models, from from model from model years, um, two thousand two thousand four to two thousand six, um, sorry two thousand four to two thousand so two thousand two thousand uh, excuse me sorry two thousand four to two thousand six. Because of the because of the because of the possibility because of the possibility of power steering fluid, so power steering flu power steering fluid leaking, and the risk of fire, so risk of fire, <coughs> so risk of it catching on fire. Last part of it. for a recall, and then I'll end it there. <coughs> so then I'll end it there. The car the cars were built were built from May 2003, so May 2003, so May 2003, through April, so April 2008, so like, so almost five years, they, uh, built those cars. <coughs> Alright, so that'll be it for today, uh, so for my next, uh, Garlardo video will be about the face, the facelift version. So facelift version, version from 2008, so 2008 to, so 2008 to 2013. <clears throat> <clears throat> so 2008 to 2013. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So this is the next part of mod. So facelift. So facelift. Facelift. So facelift. 2008 to 2013 or 2013, whichever really works, whichever really works best. All right. So this got pretty fast, actually. Not too bad. All right. So uh, before I end, I have something to tell you guys. Um, as you all know that like, you guys are wondering why I've not been working. Well, that's because I've been struggling to look for jobs and like been applying for them. And when I applied for them, I wait and wait and wait until I get accepted. And the minute I get accepted, I well, the minute, well, what I'm saying is like, I keep waiting and waiting and waiting until I get accepted, and the minute I get, uh, to return the feedback, it's like when they get back to me, any job it is, I don't get accepted. However, however, that's about to change actually, because next week, or I think when a week after, I can't remember, I'm going to be working, so if I'm going to be working, I will be, um, <coughs> Possibly doing more this week. I'll po I'll possibly do more um, after I get home because I'll be finishing. I'll, I'll be starting like early in the morning, like say seven, so very early in the morning. And I'll be and I'll be finishing probably around four. I think I'm not too sure, but I will find out more of what of like what what's gonna be happening uh, for me. You're probably wondering what job I'm doing. Um, I can't really tell you that because, like, I haven't. I, I don't know what the job would be like, but it's something to do with like you know fixing a lot of stuff. I don't know what exactly, but I will find out when I get there, and I might let you guys know. And I might let you guys know what the job the job will be. So hopefully, hopefully it works out. Possibly it might be starting Thursday. God knows. Possibly too. Uh, possibly tomorrow. I'm not sure, sure, but I will. Uh, I'll find out eventually. Um, soon. Now, I'll let you guys. I'll let you guys know when it's gonna happen. 
All right, so, so that'll be it uh, for so for my next level. So for my next uh, Lego Kimmy Garlardo Garlardo video will be about so for my next Garlardo video will be about the faceless versions from 2008 to 2013. All right, <clears throat> so that'll be it. Um, if you get you can uh, if you get uh, if you guys like this video, um, <clears throat> like and subscribe. So like and subscribe. Comment down below what you guys think. Hit the notif hit the notif ah, I can't talk. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So make sure you like the video, like the video, subscribe, comment down below. What? <coughs> so that'll be it. Uh, if you guys if you guys like this if you guys like this video, like and subscribe. Sorry, like and subscribe. Comment down below what you guys think. Uh, hit the notification bell and hit all to be alerted, to be alerted of when I make uh, brand new uploads. Alright, oh, one more thing. Why are you guys wondering why am I not doing more Fast and Furious cars? Well, I will uh, be doing more of those when I got left, but first off, I'm going to be finishing off the Lambo videos. Now, you're probably wondering why. <clears throat> um. And you're wondering why I'm not doing the cars yet from Fury 7. Which I still got right here. The uh, extended extended edition. If you guys want to get one, uh, they might have these on Amazon. Um, and uh, so they would have these in like different in different um, websites like Am like Amazon, eBay. Uh, what else? They're probably in like different. They're probably in different gaming stores, like GameStop, for example. They might have things on DVDs and stuff. So I got them for like, for one quid. Seriously, one quid. They're going for such cheap prices. These movies. Well, it depends on where you would go to, and like where you would get uh, the the movie you would want. It all the it all depend on depend on the prices. But the thing I don't understand, one quid. That's so cheap for a movie, literally, for a film. That is brilliant. And I got, this is, and I got the, this is the, uh, ex, the extended edition, so extended edition, so extended edition of Furious 7. So you can see right here, extended edition of Fast and Furious 7, right here. And I bought this movie to honor uh, Paul Walker's legacy. And from this distance, it might look, it might look like a PS4 case, but it, it kind of does actually because of the color and the, the shape of it. But it's actually like the same as a DVD case, and it even says uh, Blu-ray. Right? If you guys can see a little bit, it says Blu-ray on here and Blu-ray here, or it just says Blu-ray. So it's got Blu-ray, so Blu-ray plus uh, digital HD UV, which is ultraviolet, which is pretty cool. Not what I was expecting, but oh well, it's cool. You can, you can, you, and you can even watch it anywhere. You can watch on uh, TV, so TV, computer, tablet, like app, like iPads and Samsung devices and whatnot, and smartphone. So and smartphones as well. Really, it's just this brilliant. And it's even got some Blu Blu-ray exclusives and a bonus feature back to the starting line. So back to the starting line. So for Blu-ray exclusives, if you get if you get the uh, extended edition of Fury Seven or possibly the original version of Fury Seven. <coughs> They have for Blu-ray ex Blu for Blu-ray exclusives um, extended the extended version of the film. So if you go, so if you put this in like for example you know DVD player or a console, you know like for example PS4s, Xbox Ones, blah blah blah, blah. PS3s, Xbox PCs, so on and so forth, blah blah blah. blah. I'm not sure about the Nintendo Wii or the Wii U. I'm not percent sure, but when you go to it, when you go to that. You get to pick, you get to choose which version you go, you could pick, you could choose. You've got, there's two different versions. You've got the 
theoretical version, which has like the shortest amount of cutscenes, or the movie's a bit shorter, and you get the extended version, so you get like the full movie with, with, with like the full entire scenes. <clears throat> so it'll be a little bit longer to film, because you know, hence the name extended version, because the movie's got more scenes in the, because the movie's got more scenes into it, and it makes the movie longer. So out of those two, I'd rather pick the, the extended version because it's got a bit more of a story to it. Whereas for the theoretical version, they're not the same, but it just but they just cut out the parts of it, which is annoying, but heck, it, it is what it is. So I, I, out of those two, I'd rather pick the, the extended version. Who cares if it takes so long? I'm, I'm going to choose the extended version. Always have, always will. I'm gonna, and I'm going to stick with it. <clears throat> well, okay, so that'll be it for the Lambo. So for my next video, we'll be about the, for, for my next video, we'll be, we'll be about the facelift versions versions of the cars from 2008 to 2013. All right, <clears throat> so uh, that'll be it. Uh, if you guys like this video, uh, like this, like and subscribe. Comment down below what you guys think. Hit the notification bell and hit all so you're alerted when so hit all so you're alerted when I make brand new uploads. All right, <clears throat> so that'll be it. I'll see you guys soon. So I uh, gotta go. I'll see you guys soon in the next video. <clears throat> but until then, stay. But as, but until stay safe. Have a great evening, and have a have a great day tomorrow morning. And I'll see you guys. And I'll see you guys soon in the next video. So take care, folks. So take care, folks. Stay safe out there. So take care, folks. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye. So good night, folks.